Hi, I'm CZ, and welcome back to another episode of the Backyard server. I am here in front of a board where I will show you some of the rules that I want to follow while I build in this area. C number one, colour. I want to make sure that my buildings all have a unified colour scheme, but maybe not too unified. Some of my previous bases, uh, they look a bit too samey. So I want to have one big colour palette that I take bits and pieces of to make a smaller colour palette for that specific building. C number two, centred. I want to make sure that all my buildings are centred around a single area, or at least most of them are. Uh, I've made too many bases where you have to like run like half a mile just to get between each of your like storage buildings and stuff, and it's a real pain and I don't like it. So I want to make sure there's like a sort of central plaza area. C number three, Crackerjack. Okay, this one might need some explanation. Uh, basically, it means really good or proficient. So yeah, I want to make sure my buildings are all crackerjack. They're exceptionally good. Okay, let's go. So between episodes, I've been doing a little bit of terraforming to kind of make this area uh, a bit less bumpy and craggy and awful and gross, but it's looking a lot better. The issue is that I'm, I've kind of gotten rid of a few, few of the trees. So there's a big open area over here. This is intentionally open. And over here is also a big open area. This one is due to fire. Uh, I think lightning struck it and it set on fire and it burnt down. So I'll have to figure something out there. Then over, th then over this way, I've started using some of the materials I got from the end last episode. But before that, I also changed the tower to have this floating bit back. Because I, when I was watching the second episode back, I realized I liked this better than the floating crystal. I do like the floating crystal. I'll use it somewhere else. But for now, I'm going to have this here. Then I also have this uh, chorus plants just kind of scattered around, and I think it adds a lot to the verticality of the area. And then over here, I've mixed in some endstone with some of these amethyst crystals to make a sort of corrupted alien-like area. And kind of giving it the idea that the wizard tower is abnormal and is causing weird effects on the landscape. So this isn't going to be the style for the whole area, just kind of like around the wizard tower. Issue is I've run out of endstone, so I might have to go back to the end again. But then over here, we have these little cute things. I think this is nice. We're using the just oak leaves in the lavender valley biome, and it makes this nice purple. And then I've put sort of glow lichen on top to make it feel very sort of magical. Yeah, so over here is where I plan on doing some work today. I have this nice bit here, which is quite flat and goes into the tree line over here. So I'm probably going to end up moving these cows from underneath this tree and having them somewhere else. And why is this floating? Log in there. Get rid of that. So yeah, the main thing I want to focus on is storage, because look at this, it is becoming a little bit, that one's empty, becoming a bit out of hand. So yeah, what I want to do is have a few buildings dedicated to specific storages, and the first one is probably going to be stones, because I have a lot of stones. I also need to do a flower one, and plants and such, but that's that comes next. So let's do stones first, yeah! But before that, I have to move the cows, I think, and I'll put them somewhere maybe over there for now. Look what we got. Yeah, we've got tough bricks now, so I am really excited to play with these. And I've not really actually touched them too much, so I want to have a quick look at all of the varieties. So we've got chiseled, we've got chiseled... Oh, chiseled tough and chiseled tough bricks. Interesting. Ooh. These are some nice textures. I didn't really like them that much when I first saw them, but I, I like these a lot. And I think I'm going to use it for the very first building we have around here. I want to establish a sort of outline of the building. But I want to make sure this building is big enough because there's going to be a lot of stone storage. And I need lots of space, especially since I don't really have many shulker boxes yet. As in, I only have one. The only shulker box on the server, I believe, as well. So, <laughs> so this is the layout so far we've got a big rectangle here this will be the main bit and then out here we have three little sort of i guess like bays for storing cobble deep slate and uh tough because these are gonna be my three most used blocks so having them just out and easy to access should be good i'll probably have a bigger supply inside as well so now I just want to maybe even like make this room a little bit bigger, like maybe bulk it out a bit around the back. 
So here, I think this is the good height for the tough bricks. So next up, I want to do the wood layer on top. And I think birch will probably be the nicest. Okay, I've had an idea for the front. And I think maybe having like a bit that juts out like here. And then goes up like a tower at the front. Oh, this is so big. Is this is is this too big? Have I have I made this too big? How do I not have it like this? I like the size of this bit. I think I want to tighten this tower over by a block or two. Maybe make it a three by three rather than a five by five. And then I want to kind of bring it in the sides maybe by like one or two blocks. I think that's going to be more comfortable size for me to work in and also more resource efficient because I am lacking in resources. So I've done something I don't normally do, which is I have made a even uh, tower design. Yeah, I usually meant to go odd, but I went even. So I'm going to have a double door here that goes into the actual building. And this is a much more reasonable size for me, I think. It's a bit long, but I kind of like that. I can have some room splitting everything up. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do at the top, because an even tower with like a roof pointed roof is kind of hard to make look good, especially on this scale. So maybe I'll go for like a sort of crenellations, like fort kind of aesthetic. And that might make it look more a bit, a bit more stone-y. Now this is feeling a lot more crackerjack. <laughs> um, so yeah, lowering the roof down has really helped and having just birch be like the accent rather than having the entire floor dedicated to birch logs or planks is I think a lot better. But the one bit I'm not sure on is now the tower. I want to keep the tower. I'm just not convinced on the colour. I think I want to have the tower and the actual base bit be like different blocks. But I don't know which ones to do. And I don't really have... Um, I've lagged out. Uh, let's go until I run out of time. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. So I think actually I want to go into a single player world and try something out. So here in the test world, I'm trying something out. Uh, I've basically made a miniature version of the building, and I, it's really cute actually. But this is going to be a good way of testing out some different color palettes, I think. And I'm going to start by just changing the color of this tower and seeing what I can do. So I think I want to start by just trying out different shades or a different uh, variant of puff block. But that grid-like texture is probably going to be too much. So never mind that one. Then we've got the deep slate bricks, which might be too dark. So what if I did deep slate around the bottom and then tough up the tower? I think I preferred having tough blocks there. Not a massive fan of calcite. I think it's too bright of a colour. What if instead of going through the monotone colours, we instead try something maybe a bit more colourful? Well, not exactly colourful, but still don't love it. What's sandstone, actually? I don't mind sandstone. Sandstone could work. A uh, big no on the end stone, and also I probably don't have enough to build with anyway. I don't hate the mud bricks, but I think that'd be better as like a chimney rather than a tower. Surprised I haven't tried basic stone bricks yet. Uh, it's alright. I think like my issue is like it looks almost too flat next to the tough. I think I'm going to say no on the red never brick as well. <laughs> now I don't hate that. If I was to mix in some of the purple leaves along it, I think that would work. And finally we have mud. I'm thinking blackstone was the winner. So once I can connect back to the server again, we'll do some blackstone there. And there we go, the blackstone is in and I think that looks pretty good. So now I need to figure out... Probably here. Because I could have these bays just open, but I think it'd be more interesting if they have like a roof, maybe? Okay, I like this. Uh, it needs a bit of texturing, but I think it gets the, 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 the job done. I might try doing a roof, but I think it's going to have to be a fort, sort of, and have like little crenellations. I think that might look kind of cool. So let's go up there and try that out. Okay, I quite like that, actually. And then I might have some vines coming down it, or some leaves, or something. The issue is I'm not in a lavender valley biome here, I'm actually in the cherry blossom biome. So the leaves are going to be more that colour and not the like purple colour up there, which I was hoping for. But I can still figure something out. Oh my god, you scared me. Hello. Hello. 
How are you? All right. Just taking my uh, cat for a walk. Oh, very nice. That's cute. Where are you going? Around. <laughs> I'm just. Okay. I'm, I'm procrastinating from building. Fair enough. Pachin. Wait. Pachinko. Pachinko. Oh, that's a lovely name. But Plinko and Pachinko. Oh, Pachinko and Plinko. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, you really scared me with that. I'm not even gonna lie. I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> that is just a horrible thing to think about that he's just going to spend the rest of his life dangling in this pit we're just going to ignore how horrible that feels and and make, and make another eye golem Hi. Oh! <laughs> I hear you're torturing iron golems. Uh, no. Hmm. So if I went down this ladder, I wouldn't You'll find anything. Nothing but some hoppers. Hoppers, hmm? Were they once yeah. iron golems? Nope. Hmm. Mm. Nope. Yeah, just down there. I think BH is actually currently means... down there. Oh, he's gone now. He's logged off. He's just, he's escaped the scene oh, of the knows. crime. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He th that means they owe me. They owe me iron. If it's beneath oh, yeah. my base, that you know, rent has it's, to be paid. And stuff. It's not. It's not even an iron golem farm. Why are they torturing them? It's B H. Oh god, my hand just had a blood. It's B H's uh, slime farm. Oh, he's well, just, I don't want slime. He's just smoking some golems <laughs> up there. <laughs> Oh no. Hello? Hello? No hello. I have showed M your sin. <laughs> Why are uh, you what are you doing to these? What are you doing iron to golems? the cat? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I can't get down. First the iron golem, second the cat. It's unacceptable behaviour, BH. Well, too bad. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, mine's just basic. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, my connection to the server doesn't really let me go upstairs very well. Oh god. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, I haven't seen your base in a while. <laughs> not much has changed, except there's a lot more cats now. I haven't seen the tower. Oh, you not? No, I've heard about it. This looks amazing. Got all the oh, end stone. I made it to the, uh, to the end island. I Good flew job. over the void. <laughs> That's incredible! And then this is what I'm working on right now. <gasps> I haven't seen this either! I just made it today, that's, that's why. amazing! It's my uh, stone oh storage. My it's a bit God. chaotic in here, but... No, not at all. I love the way that you put the bricks under the barrel. That's amazing! I might steal that idea. Yeah, go ahead. There's, I, I didn't realize how many stone types there are in the game now. Yeah, and you're like, mm, I've sort of run out of space. They're overflowing out here. I've had to just, I put all the important ones out here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cobble. Oh, so nice. I love the way that you've used the new bricks. Yes, I love them. I didn't, I didn't like them when they first showed them off, but now that I'm playing with them, they're great. Yeah, now that I know that it's tough and not some random new element, it kind of, yes. I kind of prefer it. I'm hoping for calcite next. Calcite bricks. Oh yes, calcite would be amazing. Terracotta for me personally. Terracotta would be good, but that would be one for every color. That'd be so many new blocks to store. <laughs> I know, but look, I I would not mind. Oh. Do you like my map? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I, 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 actually, I need to give you a banner. Yeah, I left them at the meeting spot. So if you, here's a yellow one for you, but you can make your own if you want. Uh, I don't oh, think I've got. You. Just need to rename it and then just right click a map. Actually, I'll make you a copy of your map. Oh, yeah. the... oh you put yourself right on the corner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll give you this one then. I've lost my paper. What is this? Hmm? Oh, they're my scissors. My what? salmon withers. My scissors. <laughs> what, doesn't everyone have those? 
I had three. I think you're the first. I had three at one point, but uh, I I put the heads underneath uh, BH's house and it made a flip flap flap noise. These cats are a nuisance because I've, I found out you can't open chests when a cat's sitting on top of it. Oh, I, I don't think it used to be that way. It was no. Uh, and I've completely forgotten what item is actually inside of this chest. I don't know what's in there. Oh. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it is now the next day, and as you can see, it is looking a lot better now. I am really happy with how it is coming along. Got a nice roof gradient, I've got some lichen coming down the sides, I've got a slightly different tower design that I think is less obtrusive. Having the top bit kind of come out, I felt was kind of making it look a bit top heavy. So what I've done instead is added some like walls in just at the top there that sort of bring it in and then put it back out again without actually adding it to any like of any making it bigger. Going on, but I've also got a little stone cart out here now. And then you saw uh, in the clip with sprinkles, the inside is looking quite good too. It's a little bit chaotic. I'm thinking I might change it, but I'm going to leave it like this for now because I've got some other things I want to do, and that's primarily going to be sorting out stone brick storage. Okay, I am very tempted to go diagonal. I've never done diagonal before, and I don't know if I should, but I'm tempted. <laughs> okay, I think for this one, let's do a little first person build montage. And here we are, look at it, I think it looks great, I'm really happy with it. It's my, for being my first attempt at a diagonal, I think I've done pretty decent. And I kind of went for more of a wizardy feel, to kind of match the like wizard over there, while still keeping the more colour palette of this building, and I think it looks good. And for the tower, I've added in this sort of swirl of tuff that goes on the side, and I, I think it looks super interesting, I like it a lot. And the interior is currently undone except from the floor, which I am not sold on, specifically this block. It's a nice looking block, but something I have noticed about Tuff is that the shadows are inverted. So look here, on the chiseled Tuff bricks, the shadows are on this side, while on the polished Tuff, the shadows are on this side. And like, that just kind of annoys me, I, I don't know. I. Yeah, it's weird, I don't anyways. So I might change the floor out to maybe just be the same as this floor, we'll see. I originally used quartz, it didn't really work. So, and I need to do the interior, and it does feel like I've got quite a bit of space to work with in here. Like it's not bad. Less room in the tower due to how I've built it, like I used the walls to make it kind of more curved, but that means the interior is basically just a small plus sign. So yeah, it's it's not ideal. But I want to get in a bunch of the bricks, and I'm not sure how many that. Oh, hello. I'm not sure how many bricks there are in the game, but I don't think there's that many, so it shouldn't be as hard to get them in. Okay, it's it's not perfect, but it's getting there. It's yeah, it's not great, but the interior is mainly being functional right now. I've got storage for all of the main stone bricks, so like the stone, the turf, the deep slate, the black stone, was never brick. Uh, over uh, over here are some other stones I need to sort out still, so like the polished versions of andesite and such, quartz, the end bricks. So yeah, got stuff to do. And what I'm thinking for the interior is maybe keeping the roof sort of messy like this. I kind of like it being open, and I don't really know how I would do a ceiling otherwise. So what I'm going to do instead is kind of have like things that cover up the ceiling, so like some uh, beams, some like chains hanging down and such like that. So let's quickly grab some wood. Yeah, I think having like lots of clutter up in the ceiling could possibly just make it like kind of hide the fact that it's all messy up there. 
And like we have like some pillars like this. Maybe some coming across. I don't know how that will look. Just kind of jank it up a little bit. I think that might add a bit of visual interest. As long as it doesn't get in the way of usability, which it kind of is. I need to include a stone cutter somewhere. And I think maybe doing that like here. I get rid of this box and like just move that maybe. There we go, have it hanging from up there, and then maybe have like a little workstation over here where the stone mason would do all of his masonry. Maybe like some protective like equipment. Uh, my minimal armor resource pack doesn't make that as effective as it could be, but imagine that that's full armor. So some trip wire hooks to act as like tool racks, maybe. I don't think we have the armor stands like book to actually make hanging tools, but. Just pretend that there are some there. Now this is going to be one of those places that I'm going to be picking away at for like the whole season. Because I'll be changing my priorities, I might be using more tough bricks, I might end up using prismarine, who knows. So having my storage system be somewhat malleable is probably best. And I like the vibe in here. I think having the sort of spooky up there. Oh, imagine if I had a bat in here, that'd be cool. Okay, I think this is now in a complete-ish state. I've added in also the granite and andesite and polished stuff as well as the quartz. I need to add in endstone somewhere. Uh, huh. Let's put it here for now, though eventually I am going to have to do a um, red nether brick, prismarine. Is this building too small? This might be too small. So, going back to the free seas of CC. Colour. Definitely think I've uh, done colour. It might be a little bit dark compared to the other purple thing in the area, but that's intentionally kind of meant to be a bit out of place. Like, this is probably going to be closer to the aesthetic the rest of the area has. I don't know, actually. Centred. Definitely centred. They're right next to each other. They're, ba they're, ba they're basically touching. <laughs> and Crackerjack. Yeah, I think they're pretty Crackerjack. But really thinking about it, the third C should really be cats. 